What's up guys? We are back. Texas Takeover Tour is going to come to a close on the Louisiana side of Toledo Bend. This lake is very widely known for its big bass and a lot of them. But by the time we get done here today, we might make it a little more well known for some big old crappie. I spent most of my life chasing. Chasing success, chasing money, chasing respect. Truth is, nothing has brought me joy like being right here on the water. Rod in hand, hook on the line, chasing crappie. I am a crappie angler. These are our stories, and this is On the Hook. Well, we're about to head down to the ramp. Today, this week, we don't have a guest yet, but I'm sure we can find somebody. Man, is they anywhere in Texas I ain't gonna run into you? Probably not. <laughs> you doing all right, buddy? Yes, sir. Man, oh man, Toledo Ben, here we come. Well, there he is, guys. You all know him, you all love him. That's Rod Silliman. He's always around somewhere, and you just never know where this guy's gonna pop up at. Rod oh. Silliman, on the hook. We gonna go find him. Yes, sir. Seem pretty confident. Yep, always. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out here on Toledo Bend. I've got Rod Silman back with me. We're in a creek I've never been to before. We launched out of Cypress Bend Golf Resort this morning. Rod has brought me into a minefield of stumps back in here. And uh, so the fish are in here? Looks like it. Oh, you done, you done I spied one, huh? A little bit. A little bit. All uh, right, you fish in here much? Well, it'll be, be mainly black crappie down here, won't it? Hopefully it's not, but the predominant species is black, so. Okay, and what is there, about 70 different guides on this lake? Mm, I think that's an understatement. Understatement, so it, it is a heck of a fishery then to be able to sustain that many guides. And I mean, it, almost every boat at the ramp this morning, except for ours, was guides. So if it wasn't an outstanding lake, then it couldn't handle that many guides. Which is a big lake, so. That's for sure. Out, you, know, you can never overfish it, so. All right, let's see if we can't find some fish. Oh, oh my goodness. Leave her a mouth there, Bubba. Shoot, that sucker hit. Yeah, leave her just a little bit of a mouth. She hit. I looked away for a second and it was game over. She likes uh, margarita. Well, we have got the first crappie. Gave her the bait and switch. The bait and switch. Yeah. That was a good fish. Take a few more of them. Oh, there it was. Is that the one you going after? Nah, this one right here. Oh, okay. I like this. We see more than one good fish on the screen at once. It's Wake up, one. baby. It's a little one trying to get at it. You catch that little one, I'll go after the other. That little one's hitting it. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes. Boom! Boom! Tank! Oh my God, Rod, now that's a fish. Oh, that's a three pounder, y'all. Y'all see it at first. <laughs> hey, you know there's a camera on, right? They ain't gonna believe it's a three pounder. Yeah, they will once they see it. <laughs> 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 After three years, folks, he's finally opening it up a little bit. Three pounder. That's a nice fish. Big fish of the year, y'all. Here, you do the honors. What do you want me to do? Hold your rod, hold your fish. I done had catching for you once. <laughs> I told you, they're bigger in Texas. See the bingo wing. Hey, 
Roger, but hurry up. I'm gonna get in there on him. I can't see it. That's how you do that. Oh, and he still got it. <laughs> That's how you do that. That's how you do that. I don't need Rod. I don't need you. <laughs> I tried to turn this. <laughs> <laughs> Tank. Oh, man, that bait come right out of there. See, it's the bait, I told you. Now, Rod, it ain't the bait. We done swap rods and everything. Yeah, you stole that fish. <laughs> I told you you was off of him. <laughs> I said, come on, Rod, I'm going to have to get him. I'm going to have to leave him alone. He's going to get mad and not fish with me no more. <laughs> that was good. I liked that. I didn't. That's fun, Rod. Can we do that again? Next season? All right. On the Hook is presented by Ozark Rods, Cornfield Fishing, Crappie Monster, Power Pole, Easy Drift, and Red Gold. Rod's home lake is Palestine. He fished with us down on OHIV last year, and now we're here on Toledo Bend. He doesn't have as much experience over here on Toledo, but I'm sure between me and him, we're gonna put something together. All right, so what we did, guys, we were fishing the deeper, clearer water for black crappie. We thought they'd be schooled up on trees, and we went in an area me and Rod had never been before, and they just weren't there. So what we've done now, we went up to the back of a creek, found a flat, the water's got more color to it. Now, by making that transition, we should catch mainly white crappie back in here, and that's just knowing the characteristics and the preferences of the two different species. The black crappie will want that deep, clear water. The white crappie will want the more shallow, dirtier water. Got that one. That felt good too. Cause it was good. Oh my goodness, Rod. Oh my oh, goodness, goodness. Rod. All right, you handle that. I'll get me one too. Woo. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Here, let me hold it for you. Ah. <laughs> That is an absolute stud. And I just missed another one on that. Uh, it came off on me using that little bitty bait. Uh, this one came off in the net. So when you set the hook, you don't want to really bear down on it. And you saw me do that two or three times earlier today. Yeah. On the smaller jigs, those little hooks, you just want to ease into them. That is an absolute tank. I'll show you the belly. Oh, that don't fall out the boat. The belly on that fish. What is that? A little over two fingers wide. Stud. I done went and missed that one too. That hook set though. <laughs> <laughs> is that a catfish or is that a crappie? It felt like crappie when it hit me here. See, see how his tail separates from the head. I can, I, I can tell you ain't never caught no three pound crappie. Yeah, but that ain't a three pound crappie. <laughs> well, why ain't you gonna die if it is? Well, cause I <laughs> do like that. I ain't done fishing for it. I, I don't like it that its head's kind of pointed down, but I just feel like the, the frame of it looks about right. When you see something in the shape of a crappie on the screen, but it's real skinny, like top of its back to its belly and has a little arch, a lot of times that's bass. And when you get closer to them, they'll stretch out and you'll be able to see their tail whipping. That'll either be a catfish or a bass, one of the two, but both of them's not target species. So the best thing you can do is leave them alone. And usually the bass move around a lot. Yeah, they move around a lot more. He sure smacked me and I didn't get him. What is that one right there at six? That's a different fish, ain't it? Yeah. Got her.
What do I have? Ooh, catfish. Catfish. Yeah, head shaking like old catfish. No, oh, it's a it's drum. A Nick the Wolf. It's a Nick the Wolf right there. Yep, doggone drum. Now these drum, when they're sitting there, they look identical to a crappie. The only time you can tell the difference is sometimes uh, on the screen, go ahead and grab your motor, right? Sometimes on the screen, they will swim up above your bait and look back down on it because of the way that their head is angled right there. See how it's looking down? They will come up above your bait and look back down at it. And usually, like if they're in open water, you can go ahead and pull out and get away from them. But right there, it was nosed into a stump, so I couldn't tell. I'm wrapped all around everything here. The Nick the Wolf. Well, we don't need to I, I ain't even here. pulling it out the water. <laughs> Man, this lake has got a lot of drum now. I mean a lot of drum. Go. It's a goo. Goo magnet. Goo magnet. That's my next bait line, goo magnet. Got him. Got him. That's a 250, y'all. Hey. But we on them. <laughs> hey, we got him on the hook. On the Hook is presented by Ozark Rods, Crappie Monster, Still Lake Marine, and Rockport Rattler. We had to look around just a little bit, but now we found them. We, they are coming in this boat left and right. We even got a double. That's a hog. Margarita for the wing. You can't. Huh? You said that was your favorite. Margarita's my favorite. Look at that one. Look at that one. It came from Lake Fork. Yeah, it's got that crooked Lake Fork tail. Toledo Bend is known for big bass and obviously it's got to have something to do with the minerals in the water because it's producing some tank crappie. Is that you? you got her. Got him. <laughs> she ain't getting Woo! off. I had to put on my lucky bait. <laughs> now that's a two and a three quarter fish. That margarita. Yes, sir. You put on a margarita? Yep. <laughs> that is the best doggone bait there is on the face of the planet. Uh, it is, I mean. Yes, sir. There's two more in there. Which side is mine? The one with the biggest? laid straight up the side of it. If you come up to a stump and you can see a fish laid straight up the side of it, that is not a crappie. It's a gar all day long. Yeah, I don't like uh, dropping on them and catching the gar. They tear your bait up. They tear your line up. And then four or five fish later, when you hang into a giant, your line snaps and it's because that gar's teeth done weaken your line. And they're not smart enough to let go. The hook ain't in their mouth. They just clamp down and they just being ornery and don't want to let go. Most time when you hook into one, if you'll just drop it and let all the pressure off, they'll open their mouth. But if you pull, they pull. <clears throat> 
we're over some nice looking brush piles here. There's a lot of small crappie and brim in them. We're just looking for those singles sitting on the side of the stumps. Those are normally the ones that'll go ahead and fire as long as they're up off the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Wrong fish. <laughs> He spit it off. You see that? Yeah, he spit it out, didn't he? Yeah. Well, that jig was tied on there good, wasn't it? Yeah, I had to retie it. Yeah, you had to retie that one. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. That's him. That's him. That's the one picked on me, Rod. That's turning. There she is. Biggest fish of the day. <laughs> you said if I wasn't catching, I had to be a clown. <laughs> hey, you started catching though. A rod coming in there now. Six to two. Yeah, that's what's going on. That's why we didn't find them when we was back further. These fish are up underneath this log and they're just running around on the on the bottom like ground bees, like yellow jackets do. That's what's going on. I don't know what it is. It's got them pushed down. Very light wind, water temp 75 degrees. There's no reason that they should be pushed all the way down that I'm aware of. We figure out what that reason is and we'll be on to something. But right now, we're just gonna keep on trying to pick them off the bottom. And get them on the hook. And get them on the hook. So you just missed an incredible punch line. I did. On the Hook is presented by Ozark Rods, Cornfield Fishing, Crappie Monster, Power Pole, Easy Drift, and Red Gold. Yeah, when you're uh, when you're dropping down with live scope on these trees, it won't show all of the super tiny stuff that you can get hung on and uh, you'll be hung up and can't figure out why you can't get to the fish. It's because you're sitting there against a the limb. Like this. Yeah, like this. He's sitting against a limb and just cannot get to. He just barely shot. Here we go, here we go. Off. There we go. That's what you call it. A Texas toad. <laughs> oh, I can talking to fish. No rods margarita right there. That is a stud. Yeah. I mean, that is just a stud of a fish. He was getting hung on the tree. Uh, Rod was trying to push to that fish and there was a limb, a little crook in that tree with a limb on it. It kept on hanging on his line and holding it away from the fish. It kept on holding it away from the fish and that's why he had to work his rod around to try to get off that limb. And when he got over where his fish could see it, it came in the boat. It got on the hook. You miss it. You miss your catchphrases every time. You're supposed to say that fish got on the hook. Oh, I'm sorry. When it, when he got to where that fish could see it, he put it on the hook. There you go. Is that better? That's a lot better. I like it. Got it. Isn't she cute? <laughs> <laughs> Well, man, we've been beating the fire out some big fish all day. That little one right there don't hurt my feelings a bit, man. And it for sure ain't gonna change my mind about whether or not I'm coming back to Toledo Bend. You all have got a great fishery here, dude. And after three years, I imagine I'll see you next season too. Somewhere. Arizona. I, I don't doubt that. Everywhere I go in Texas, you show up. Might as well go fishing. Rod Silman. <laughs> Silman Marine, y'all check him out. They're on Facebook, give him a call. Anything you need done. Don't matter where you're at in the country, you pretty well travel everywhere, don't you? Yeah, except for Tennessee. Except for Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we tend to tear stuff up way too bad. Yeah. 
Well, man, thank you, dude. All righty. Y'all get a chance to get down here, check out Toledo Bend, and we'll be back at you next week to put some more fish on the hook. Turn the key, turn up the dial, and set me free.